so they'll be calling you a radical this is a really important video real important and we're going to talk about so trump is immediately boom new head of the nrc now this is a big deal in my world in your world you just don't know it i know her because i go head to head toe to toe nose to nose with the nrc for decades and Senate offer really is american ground zero it is american ground zero you know my father the marine pendleton marine so his dynamic there you know that everything that was wrong with the nuclear center this is everything right oh sorry you guys speaking of marines there's a couple there we go semper fi brother semper fi, semper fi so you know i'm those guys is advocate here in the hospital that you know i sit there i do a lot of work at the va because of my father you know the semper fi guy that was nuclear battle, death in the battle test site so anyway she has been named the head of the NRC. Now, this is important. This is really important. Now, I go after Allison when she was there, Alice McFarland, but let's, I really like Allison McFarland. I can tell you that right now. And the new head of the I really like her. I, and I'll tell you, I really like her. Now, she's establishment to the 10th power. Long story, University of Michigan, which is the head of the snake. The University of Michigan, which heavily, heavily participated in the, the 32-team panel, and I'll start talking about the 32-team panel that was devised to cover up Fukushima. John Holdren's the head of it from Cal Berkeley, University of Michigan. You know, I got into that fight inside the Metropolitan Museum with, they were at the opera from the University of Michigan and, of course, MIT. Those rats, the 32-team that's been developed, which when we were had hearings scheduled, the Barber Boxer had them scheduled, we were going to have congressional hearings on Senate and Offrey and Fukushima. Remember, I went to New York, and it had to do with the Madeline Rice, you know, trying to get her out at Dr. Rice's old, you know, NYU, my place, you know, there at Washington Square. So, and they forced it underground. We never got to see it, never hear it. So, I know the head of the NRC, their PR spokesman, very, very well. He and I are really close, because, look, everything that's wrong with the nuclear industry was sent an offer. Everything we're getting right so far is Senate and Offrey. They're way ahead of schedule. My work, hold on, I said, not on the fucking beach. And I'll be sending this to her. And if you don't think YouTube video, I mean, it, it, it's astounding. We know Alex Jones did one thing. He proved that Donald Trump watches a lot of YouTube videos. The establishment around the world is so far behind on media and how you get media. You want anything. You want anything. You want it first. You want it. You go to YouTube. And everybody knows it. That's anybody and anything, including Donald Trump. How do you think he got elected? YouTube, I'm here to tell you. So, Allison McFarland, who supposedly Harry Reid blocked Yucca Mountain. Now, come on, Harry Reid, Mormon here, Utah State. Now, the new head of the NRC, she lived here for a while. Take me down to the Virgin Springs, wash away my suffering. Right there, Idaho. The Idaho Lab. The head of the snake is the Idaho Lab. The new scale freaking, these little piglets, they're developed. I mean, that's where it all traces to, the Bear River Massacre, Idaho Nuclear Lab. You know, I do so much work there. I mean, you know, my roots are Idaho. Come on, right there. So, Allison and Pete down in San Diego, Pete has video of this. So, we are at the hearings. Commenter number 19, Kevin Blanche, I go on that rant on Allison. People didn't know Allison was going to be there. ISIS cries, you know, won't come, won't come, doesn't even show up to his own hearing. Then he does an IT. The IT guru that's holding the camera says, that's first grade stuff. So he puts his video up. I couldn't make it because he lives six miles away <laughs> in his billionaire McMansion. He snuck in at the end, by the way, because I caught him and I saw him. Oh, the video wouldn't work. Allison did a really great presentation in there. And she said, I will quote her, Allison McFarland. Former head of the NRC, former Fukushima cover-up, former blocker of Yucca Mountain. They have been talking about reivindication and finding an answer for this nuclear waste for 70 years. Not only have they not found it, the Mox Fuel Center, they will never find it. It's just a waste of billions and trillions of dollars, and we have to come to that 10,000 years from now. They still will not have an answer. Alice McFarland, San Juan Capistrano. She knows this, the new head of the NRC. So she's pro Yucca Mountain. You know my line. Yucca Mountain. <laughs> it's going to piss a lot of people off. Yucca Mountain, the best, worst option. 
It's a horrible fucking option. But why are we making noise? So my, you know my big new line. They say, I don't need to wake the fuck up. And I've been up there, you know, I'm going to head up to the Virgin Springs tomorrow, maybe, if somebody wants to go. Because I like to go lay in the hot pots and lava where, you know, Grandma Ella, my Elder Ella, that's my grandma. That's her place. That's, my, that's where I grew up. That's where my ex, freaking, you know, who, the mother of my children. That's where she grew up. That's where we grew up. That's where my kids grew up. At the Virgin Springs. They're poisoning. At Idaho. New scales, all, not, new scales are fraud. So, look, this is going to get so heavy and so, it's about time. The NRC will tell you, we were never set up to handle nuclear waste, Kevin. You know, I have private conversations with them. I go to freaking dinner with them. I have drinks. You heard me, I, I, you know, in San Aubrey, full of leukemia. Look, I'll even buy. We can go have a beer after because I'm staying at the Omni, too. Because I stayed at the Omni in Carlsbad, $400 a night. They all show up. When they have these here in San of course they show up. You know, who doesn't want to be in Carlsbad at the Omni? <laughs> you know, I price line and find ours, you know, with our small group, our little army, our post-ignorance project army. So... They'll tell you. They weren't set up to handle their... Look, Congress, they promised us, when they got the bills through in the early 70s, you know, on this nuclear reactor bullshit, they promised us they had to revit the, you know, Mox fuel through Savannah River. What a catastrophe. It's just one line. And now they got the small little piglet in Idaho. She used to work at the Idaho lab. She used to live here. She's an Idaho girl for a while. You know, like, a, I mean, hello. I talked to her personally in these hearings. She's smart. I mean, they know. Even though they came from this long story, they know. We've got to deal with it. She'll, they'll tell you straight up. All of them will tell you. Kevin, we hold congressional hearings. You know that. You show up. Nobody goes. No media goes. Nobody will freaking deal with this. You're one of the very few that even takes it on. I says, I know. And that's why I use this thing. I'm trying to, you know, I try to wake people up every day. You know, my work at Santa Opera is paramount. And people are saying, oh, she just placed there to privatize nuclear waste, you dumb fuckers. I already got news for you. Nuclear waste was privatized a long time ago. You think Energy Solutions is a public company? Ha! Their fucking stock went from $35 to five under five. They got delisted by the New York. They're criminals. They're corrupt as fuck. I'm the guy that's got them kicked out of here. Ask Governor Herbert. They ain't coming here. You know, our ex, our ex president is speaking right now in the Capitol. I'll be down there tomorrow if I don't go to Idaho or Idaho tomorrow, but. Get this. So the Raz Connection, Idaho, again, Idaho Lab, the old guy that I've been working with, the 68-year-old, really contemporary Idahoan, the Raz Connection, really been going crazy about the Idaho Lab and this Raz Connection here. You know, our attorney general in Utah, the CEO of New Scale, Idaho Lab, Idaho Lab, Idaho Lab. That's where they all come from. Right there, the Bear River Massacre on thing, right down the hot springs. Really? They, so they say you could send in Idaho. I went to all the consent-based hearings. I was at them. I attend them. You know, that's a consent-based hearing in San Juan Cop Star. That's what that is. They say you've consented, and I'm like, no, 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 no. You've consented about like they did at the Bear River Massacre. Like a passed out girl behind a dumpster at Stanford. No, they, they don't know. Because I'm up there, I talk to them all the time. They have no clue. They don't know. They don't even know the first nuclear actor in the world's right there. They've had to peel the guy off the roof. Paul, who I left his ass, my best friend, like he grew up there, right there. We all grew up there. We all got cancer at the same time. You know, they found the cougar with the fangs growing out of the top of its head right there last year. I mean, they have leaks all the time. Look, it's right next to Yellowstone. Let's get real. It's right next to Yellowstone. My father nuked the fat test. I'm the, I'm the head of the children of the atomic veterans. I'm the head of the atomic veterans. My father didn't get anything, that Marine from Pendleton. That Idaho freaking girl he was married to. You know, my grandma, Elder Ella, I mean, our people, they're like, no, no, cancer, look, nuclear energy equals cancer, period, period. There's no answer for the waste. They know that. The NRC, she knows that. It's got to go somewhere. You can keep fighting. It's like people say they're anti, okay, okay, I get that. I understand that. And, you know, it's going to be a crazy dynamic because the big guy in Las Vegas is one of Trump's buddies. Adelson's is a close friend. They don't want it there, but nobody wants it anywhere. We fuck. We could put it at the fucking resin, fucking I don't. Well, no, fuck hell. That's the worst place you could possibly. You tell they're out of here. I can tell you where it's gonna go. It's already going to whip. They got the temporary permit. I'm here to tell you, it's whip blew up. It was a Utah canister right here. I'm the guy that report from the water school business I used to teach in. She's been on this university. She's pragmatic. She's dynamic. I like her. You know. There's people on that NRC board that I cannot stand, that are criminal bastards. 
She's not one of them. Allison's not one of them. I like Allison, I mean, thrown to the wolves. Gina McCarthy, now there's a criminal. Barack Obama, now there's a criminal. You know, the cover-up of Fukushima was orchestrated. Was she part of it? I don't know, but I know the University of Michigan. The 32-team panel that was developed on the cover-up of Fukushima, I have the transcript inside the Situation Room. John Holdren is the top. And then it pyramids down. University of Michigan, MIT, MIT, Cal Berkeley, MIT, fucking University of Michigan, fucking Oregon State, Kathleen Higley, they're all on this fucking committee. 32-team borough was put together. That's a fact. I know that for a fact. I know who they are. I know their names. I know exactly every one of these criminal bastards. And if that ever gets exposed, oh, you want to talk a mob fucking right. It's going to happen. This nuclear waste, look, they went over capacity in these reactors a long, long, long time ago. The NRC was not, because Congress promised, Congress keeps violating, look, the Department of Energy, you keep paying these reactors because these reactors sue you, the taxpayer. You are the Department of Energy, and they win. Because by law, there had to be an answer for waste. That was a congressional law. It's like Price Anderson. They have no fucking, they don't have to insure. They have no liability. By law. Supreme Court going to overturn that? <laughs> Fuck with this Congress, this illegitimate court. I mean, we have a left-right dynamic in this country that's false. It's like the anti-nuclear -sta establishment. They're false equivalency just like Congress. They're on the same team. You know? They work for the same fucking thing that's feeding the same hand. RT, fucking same of them. They're corrupt bastards. They're all, they got their fucking fingers because this is the greatest cash cow in human history. This waste has got to go. It's stored everywhere and everything. They're over capacity in every single reactor. San Onofre PG&E's local right down there. Tom, I talk to him all the time. You know, their logo. Leading the way, showing the world. San Onofre's going to show the world how to deal with this, how to decommission a reactor. They're so far ahead of schedule, it's unbelievable. It's on the tarmac. It's coming, they're way ahead of schedule. And it's not going on the fucking, that's my work. Not on the fucking beach. It ain't happening. You know, the California Public Commission down there keeps paying themselves patent grants down. When I do all the dirty work, oh, it's just YouTube. I'll tell that to Donald Trump, because he sure watches YouTube videos. So, does it need to go to Yucca Mountain? It's gotta go somewhere. You know, Congress passed Yucca Mountain, I can tell you that right now, and is it a bad option? It's a fucking horrible option. But the worst option, why do you keep making more? And now they're fucking just passing through Congress. This is insanity of Congress. Congress right here in Idaho, fucking, you know, this new school, 50 different companies, like they passed it. They're giving, look, me and this guy up there, they, he went crazy inside. He was screaming and yelling, doing what you're supposed to do at a rally at Idaho State Capitol. They arrested him, let him go. They couldn't hold him. They'd come to his house. They threw him in fucking a jail cell for a few days up here in fucking Idaho, in southern Idaho. And his family tried to have him committed for being crazy, for being an activist, and Idaho tried to go along with it. This guy's the sanest guy I've ever met. It's outrageous. Of course they had to let him go. He's got a lot of money. This guy's good. He calls it the Reyes Connection. Me and him protesting in the Capitol last year and the year before at the Utah State Capitol. I've done a lot of work in there on this fucking new skills. A piglet from Idaho fucking lab. She used to work there. She's an Idaho girl. I mean, she's Michigan, been around. She's got a long story about Brookings Institution. Uh, scary hell yes. But look, this waste. I mean, the reality of kicking the can has got to end. Whip blew up. And they lied about that. Oh, it's cheap and clean. It costs $2 billion to fucking so-called clean up whip. And you can't even really clean it up. They lied. There was a salt truck, and I reported it right here from the school business. These fuckers right here built the nuclear reactors there. You know, so, oh, it's just, we didn't see it in mainstream media. We didn't see it. It's just YouTube, please. Fuck. I mean, anybody who's doing any kind of information that doesn't work doesn't realize the most powerful fucking media genre in human history is YouTube is fucking a fool. You know, really a fool. So I like her. I think she's pragmatic. I think we're going to have a chance. Now, this fight's going to get on right here and right now. And that's why Rick Perry's been named in Texas. This proves to me that Trump does know. Trump knows. So Rick Perry, this, they were ready to leave Utah. Energy Solutions and merge in with the company down there. Now, Donald Trump, or excuse me, Brock, Barry, Antoinette, let them eat yellow cake, the cover-up of Fukushima, who's mass murdered the Pacific Ocean. I think it's interesting because Idaho. Now, Idaho's minor league baseball team and I think their hockey team's named the Steelhead. The, I mean, I grew up fucking my whole life still had fishing, me and my, you know, wife and my, our little children and, you know, my grandparents, my parents, that's what we did all over. I know that, I mean, that's my place. 
it still had completely collapsed. The Pacific Ocean eco chain was broken. It fucking collapsed. Fukushima, it should have been the end of the nuclear cartel, nuclear crimes, and the nuclear energy. Look, there's no answer for the waste. So Michigan passes, excuse me, Illinois passes. They had 15 lobbyists in there for every fucking rate. Now, where did they get the money for the lobbyists? Obama settled the fucking case with Bechtel because you can't sue them. They can fucking cry they, to build the triple tanks. She worked there, too. She worked at Hanford also. She knows the scam. They used the very money that they were paid to put triple liners on and hired lobbyists to go. So they go into the state of Illinois. So my rule is this. In New York, Cuomo bank bail out on chemo. You're going to save these nuclear reactors in New York, $7.6 billion. So you in New York, you in Illinois, you make it, you fucking eat it. That's that simple. We gave you a pass to bring it out here west. In fucking, we're tired of your fucking waste dumped on us. So in Illinois, New York, fuck you. We don't, we're not going to, we're going to fight you. Because you're going to continue to make more, then you you make it, you fucking eat it. I used to say that in California. But I'm a Californian too. You know, we had our place there at PB. I spent most of my life there. Idaho, back and forth from Utah, Idaho, and fuck California my whole life. I know it's got to leave there. They're the two most vulnerable reactors in the world, Diablo Canyon and fucking. And they don't use them. They're producing more solar, 120% more solar a day than they can use. Now here's the initiative, this little Jeremy Peterson fucking right here. And you tell they're trying to make a recessive on the tax credit on so I mean it's a joke. If they had the same opportunity solar has as nuclear, this whole world would be sore overnight. It's a government welfare queen horse from hell. And everybody's got their fucking fingers in it. But the NRC was never set up to handle nuclear waste, but oh they are now. And Trump ain't fucking around, so I mean this waste has to come out of them. I mean they are they went over capacity I think in 1991. I've been in them. I've been in lots of these reactors. They're swimples stacked on top of each other over and the whole lie of Fukushima. Those fucking, all six of those reactors that I reported in day one blew to fucking smell the rains all over us and killed the Pacific Ocean. It's the greatest ecological attack. Where'd you sleep last? I slept in the dead fucking pines. I mean, 100 million dead. And California, it's not beetles. California come around and say, it's radiation. Now, was it from the sun heating up the atmosphere of Fukushima? Fuktonium. The sun can give you cancer from 93 million miles away. Again, back to the nuclear lab at Idaho, at Livermore, at La Salle. You know what their logo is? Bringing star power to earth. That's what it says inside INL. That's what it says. I've trapped protests there my whole life. Well, they brought star power to earth. The sun can give you cancer from 93 million miles away, and nobody knows what that energy is. Well, they have it right now, 6,500 miles away from Santa Ana, from California, at Fukushima, Japan. They have no answer. They just lie, lie, lie. Tepco's fucking lies. Tepco's the greatest fucking liars. Fucking G. Westinghouse. It's Toshiba's going bankrupt building nuke reactors. And you just keep bailing out. Congress is so insane. Come on, Trump. Step up and veto this fucking bill. This is an old dog and pony fucking nightmare fucking fell technology that's got to go. And I'll send it right here to Christina here. Come on. This fight's on. All activists. Let's get pragmatic about this. You come out in a bad answer, whip a bad answer, fuck yeah. The bad idea is why are we making more? Something we don't even use. Tired, it's uneconomical, it destroyed the fucking earth. And anybody that says it's green, you are one ignorant fool. One dumb, dumb. Ign we have a grid. I just talked to the fucking grid. It's, she's here today at the university. Had a long talk with the state. You know, she's the, you know, the grid person. I, she says it needs updates, but our grid's fine. And I says, well, you know. California's saying they're producing 120% more solar day than they can use. At San Onofre, that's my work. You can look at those videos when I expose the fake union workers being paid to come in and crash our party. She was there. Look at the fucking, in my videos, solar panels all over the parking lot, all over San Onofre. They don't even believe in their own fucked up technology. Solar took the field a long time ago. You just block it, nuclear. So. This waste has got to go, but the main thing, we got to quit making more. And we can't, this little piglet called New Scale has no answer for the waste. This whole fucking new module, oh, it's better. No, it's the same fucking lie. It's always the same lie. They always have an answer. Refitification, fucking, it's a lie. I'll quote Alison McFarlane again in San Juan Capistrano. They've been trying for 70 years. They won't have an answer in fucking 10,000 years. Einstein said that in 1953. So we got to get pragmatic as activists. Where's it going to go? It's got to go now. Well, I can tell you where it's going to go. Because Trump's buddy ain't about to let it go in Vegas. She, she might be pro-nuclear, but she ain't going to go past him in Vegas. That's Trump's buddy. He has a lot of power. It's going to New Mexico. Rick Perry's there for one reason. Obama files antitrust law against Energy Solutions merger. He won't file antitrust law against the Bear-Monsanto merger or the BP shell. 
because he's their puppet, the two most corrupt. How about the Westinghouse Toshiba merger he orchestrated post Fukushima to protect Westinghouse from fucking going bankrupt, which he bankrupted in Chicago Bridge. Toshiba's come out. Westinghouse is there. We're done. Westinghouse broke us. China's throwing them out. South Korea's throwing them out. Fucking everyone's throwing them out. There's a reason they're all throwing them out. Even Sweden's saying, fuck you. Denmark threw them out a long time ago. Austria, Frieda Meisenblatt, who I was at her house on the 200th anniversary of Frank. And by the way, she had, I'll, I'll quote one day what she had to say about Busby and fucking Keldicott and them. <laughs> you know, wasn't good. This has to be grassrooters. It has to be us. Anybody doesn't understand, we are the fucking anti-nuclear movement. We are. Jamin Smokey the Clown, Daniel Dunford, fuck Christina fucking Ratchick, myself, we're it. We're it. And the NRC knows that. Oh, they're afraid of me. I mean, I talk to them, and I, I mean, they know. They know I know. And they know. They know it's good. They'll tell you, Kevin, we were never set up to handle nuclear waste. And here we're thrown to the wolves. American public refuses to deal with this. American public doesn't even know these reactors are plumb full. It's over capacity. They're ticking time bombs from hell. There are fucking leaks all over. San Onofre had a fucking... I'm the guy that exposed the San Onofre fucking leak. <laughs> Take me down to the Virgin Springs. Wash away my fucking suffering. I've been in the... Look... You want to talk about my history and my path? Look, I was given too much to live five years ago. It's going to give you a thing. I was in that bone marrow transplant, sucked up to nothing. The only red tin to ever walk out. You don't think I know suffering? You don't think I know? I watched my dad fucking die of this. I watched the love of my life fucking die of this, of fucking leukemia. I watched my lifelong best friend, fucking Paul, right there, Atomic City, fucking die. You know, so did you, by the way, on YouTube. I almost went. You know, I felt that fucking pain. Though I've walked through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. And the nuclear industry is evil. I have hope for, I have hope for, come on Trump, put a dagger to this uneconomical fucking nightmare fucking called nuclear energy. This new scale we're at. Let's get pragmatic on the waste, because this fight's going to be on. We can't just say fuck it, it doesn't go anywhere, it's got to go somewhere. And sitting in those reactors is no answer. And we got to stop making more of this shit. These little reactors at New Scale are nothing but a fucking little piglet with lipstick. Stand tuned.